Weird game last night. USC, 45, Arizona, 37. I was very irritated about this one. First off, let's talk about the referee situation in the Pac-12. At what point is it complete negligence to not do anything about this? At the end of the first half, USC is driving, and they have a chance to put another touchdown on the board. They get down inside the five-yard line, wherever it was, and you know what? Actually, that's a good question. Let's, uh, let's pull up the stats here. But USC was driving. I'll pull it up on the screen for you. And let's see. They get down to, uh, okay, the 10-yard the line. They had a chance to do something in the ballgame and, and score another touchdown to go up, you know, even more. And the refs allowed the clock to run without ever spotting the ball. Like, they got a first down, and they just let the clock run out. So, USC was not able to spike the ball to get another... T- I mean, it, you could have kicked a field goal. You could Like, there was plenty of time for another opportunity, and they never stopped the clock. Like, Mike Bone, the AD, was livid about this. He was retweeting all sorts of stuff about Pac-12 refs, etc. Like, it it's now two straight games for USC where there have been beyond questionable calls. And I don't know what you do about it, right? Like, USC has got two more years of this, like this year and next year before they go to the Big Ten. And I don't think that it is... I don't think that they are trying to screw USC. I don't believe that that's what this is. I think they're just incredibly bad at their job. This is complete incompetence. Because it's not just happening in the USC games, although it appears to be happening on a much bigger scale in the USC games. But man, it is it is rough. It is really rough to watch in the Pac-12 to see what's going on. 82 Atlantic said USC getting hosed on the road by the refs against Utah and Arizona will lead to more conspiracy theories that the Pac-12 is trying to ruin them. And yes, agreed. But see, to me, the conspiracy theory of that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because USC... Like, I feel like the Pac-12 would be trying to make as much money off of them as possible before they have to leave, right? Like, it doesn't, maybe I'm crazy for that, but it feels like take advantage of the situation that you got before you get there. The The biggest matchup that you could possibly have in the Pac-12 title game would be USC against Oregon. That would be the biggest possible matchup, the most ratings, Whatever. And the two most likely teams to make it to the playoff, I believe. And just, I, I don't, it's rough. Uh, 82 Atlantic says, Pac-12 can't afford decent refs due to their bad TV deal. Yeah, that's certainly a part of it. That is certainly a part of it because uh, we know that they don't have a feeder system. They don't have, they're they're not set up as well as some of these other conferences um, because they don't, they don't do a lot of training. They don't do a lot of anything. And, I don't know that you need a ton of training for this. Like, I think I, there's just something going on. Oh, it's rough. It's rough. Speaking of TV deals, uh, we'll talk on Monday about the Big 12's TV deal. Um, but that got finalized this morning, so cheers to them. Your move, Pac-12, I suppose. Uh, talking about USC, they had eight more plays than Arizona. Uh, Arizona did have a turnover in the game. Uh, 621 yards to 543. Arizona had more first downs. Yards per play was very close. Uh, Yards per rush attempt was very close. Yards per pass was very close. USC had a shot in this game. Let's see if I wrote this down. Um, This told me everything that I need to know about how bad this USC defense is. Okay. With a chance to put the game away late. Fourth and 12. You're up by 16. All you have to do is get a stop on fourth and 12. With like less than a minute left or whatever it was. On fourth and 12, you give up 13 yards. I mean, I, I got nothing for that. This is beyond ridiculous. It tells me everything I need to know about this team. Uh, we'll say this. The passing offense was not hurt without Jordan Addison at all. Like, there was there was nothing that, that hurt them in this. So, 
Uh, cheers to it. Cheers to a big win for USC. They move right along. Arizona stayed in this ball game. That Arizona offense is legit. When they go up against a bad defense, they can take advantage of it. And cheers to them. Cheers to them for doing it. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.